Okay, so now the next thing we're going to do, make sure we're focusing here, we're going to find the horizontal and vertical components of a vector. All right? Horizontal and vertical components of a vector are really just asking you for the x component and the y component of any given vector. Okay? So here it says we're going to find the horizontal and vertical components of this vector representing a 60 pound force 50 degrees west of north. Okay? So really, all I need to do to find my horizontal and vertical components would be to go ahead and make a right triangle and find my horizontal and my vertical components, or my x and my y. Okay? The nice thing about this is it's a right triangle, so I can use sine of an angle equals opposite over hypotenuse, cosine equals adjacent over hypotenuse, and so on. But notice I don't have my reference angle in here yet, but if this is 50, 40. This is 40. Thank you. Okay? Now that that's 40 right there, what trig function would I use to help me find x? Cosine. Cosine is always helpful for x because cosine is adjacent, right? Cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse. So cosine will help you find x. What will help you find y? Sine. So my setup would be cosine of 40 degrees equals x over 60. Multiply both sides by 60 and you'll get your x. What's my setup for y? Sine of 40 equals y over 60. Multiply both sides by 60. Okay. Now, you guys can do this, but when you go to write your answer, because my vector is headed this direction, make sure you give me an x value that's negative and a y value that's positive. Okay, a little bit of help from you guys. Somebody do the X, somebody do the Y in their calculators, and I'll show you what notation I'm going to be looking for. Let's go ahead and let's round to the nearest tenth. Somebody real quick do that work for me. Get your X, get your Y. Um, X is 45.96. Y is like So negative 45.96. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So actually, I'm just going to go negative 46.0 to the nearest tenth then. Okay, and how about y? 38.6. 38.6. Okay. Everybody agree with that? Yep. Okay. So what you have found, pay close attention, you have found the horizontal and vertical components of a vector that represents a 60 pound force 50 degrees west of north. Okay? This is a magnitude and a direction. These are the horizontal and vertical components of that vector. It's magnitude and direction. Okay? This is the notation I'm looking for. X, horizontal, Y, vertical, and because it's representing a vector, use more of the pointed parentheses or grouping symbols to know that we're talking about a vector whose horizontal component is this and whose vertical component is that. Is that okay? Try problems four and five. All you're doing, finding horizontal and vertical components of your vector.